It says we have a UI. It, it doesn't look like so. Ah! Hello, my two nerdy fives. We are my channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's here, and today we're talking about the March update. It's been broken up into a few different sections. So if you want, there's something you want to talk about specifically. It's going to be chapter time. First, we're going to talk about the stuff that they announced, um, and then we're going to talk about some speculation, and then we're going to jump into the actual like update that is for March. March had a lot of different things that happened. Uh, so we're going to go over some new hairs. The obviously the uh, the bunk beds and stuff. So all that stuff is going to be talked about. It's just going to be linked. There's going to be chapter times linked down below. Also, all these different pictures and articles and stuff will also try to be linked down below. If not, just some community.info. In general, you can find everything that we're going to be covering over there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So today, with the newest update, we are getting an update to this hair down here. Um, specifically, it was already talked about. Show it later on in this very episode when we get into the actual update. So they update this one um, for every like adults, toddlers, whole nine yards. But in future updates, we're going to be talking about this hair. Now this hair has already been screened, so they showed some images. This is what it's going to be turning out to look like. We're also getting new color swatches. So this over here brings us to our new color swatches. As you guys can see here, there's two tones of black, several different like there's. They're adding new ones. I don't know how many new ones, but we're definitely getting an actual black to the game, um, which is very important. Um, the black is like a dark blue, if you did not know. But it actually had to be pointed out to me because I had no idea. And then once I realized, you just never can. And also with this hair, like I said, we are getting a new version of it, which is very good. I'm all here for it. Um, a lot of hairs from the base game really need updated and I think we all can agree on that. And so I'm very, very excited about it. So with that new hair, we're also getting a new trait slot um it's over here in this corner it's gonna be attached to the the aspiration is but it doesn't go with the aspiration because it's not gold old traits um are aspirational traits and so this is just a continuation i'm wondering if this is a whole new slot i don't think they talked about it entirely i could be wrong if there's any more information i'll have it linked down below for you i couldn't find any to be honest with you with my little slew thing that i did then we also have another hair that they're really excited to talk about which was this hair. I'm really, really excited for this. I think we need more of these. I download a lot of these different types of hairs already. And so I would love some like actual max match in the game. And then the last thing I want to talk about is that they did talk about the big stuff. And by the big stuff, I very much mean generation. Now, they specifically said generation pack, which means we could get several different variations and not a full on generation pack, which I think it's controversial. But and so that's something that they did mention. Um, they didn't go into like anything expected, like anything like full out. But they did talk about how sometimes it's a foundational technology that they've not developed or that they're in the process of developing and or that the design is just not where they want it to be to make fans happy. They also talked about how there's a lot of different fans for a lot of different reasons with such a big AAA game such as The Sims 4. It does make sense. And my opinion on cars, generations I think should happen. There's not enough stuff. I agree. But with cars, I don't really know. I think I'm over it by now. Interestingly enough, they didn't talk about like advanced babies, which has been talked about for a very long time now. But they do go on to for, for saying that the game goes on for many, many more years to come. And then once again, rearing by a different group by saying the same thing, many more years to come. And so that does bring up the speculation is that is the Sims 5 just not around the corner? Are we getting a Sims 5? That's where the speculation would come in. And I don't really know the answers to this question. I'm just throwing it out there. I, I would be kind of mad if we're, there is not a Sims 5 around the corner. I'm a little over the Sims 4. I like it. I'm enjoying myself. I'm doing a lot of different interesting things with it to make myself enjoy it even more. I will have fun content coming for you guys. Basically, I'm ready for a new base. Hopefully, they learn from their mistakes with the Sims 4. And um, it's a better base. Sims 5, I still feel like it's a few years out, which does suck. But that being said, let's jump into the game. So the first thing I want to talk about, they call a pup ball hair and a short out. Pup ball hair is this hair right here, which originally, like I said, I showed you the retexture. This is the texture of that hair i have to say i think i'm a little upset i very much like it um as you guys can see it's like a bluish i really like it i think it's really cute the other ones were just it was a very plain texture very flat this is for children adults toddlers everybody has it and it's all been updated so that's really, really cool the next one is short alpha pro and it's this one right here I really like it as well. I mean, I do, I do very much enjoy it. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Personally, the women also have one. This is the one. Um, I like it better on her. I do. But I think this one, I think it's just so cute. I, I'm a very, very big fan of that one. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with all this stuff, by the way. I don't want to not undercut what they did here. I really, really liked it. I think it's really cute. Let's go ahead and jump in to the build and buy section. Okay, so I've come in and I have put down a room. It took me a very long time to do, 
So let's go over the new paintings. Um, most of these are different color variations. The first one that we're going to talk about is so we have Rock My Universe, the pinup girl poster, which is, I hate you, you know, that, that's what that was called. And there's a new variation, a dramatic cooking poster, which is, is a very dramatic cooking poster. We have now more male variants of it, um, but we also have different uh, people of night. Same goes with the illustrated sports poster. Backgrounds have now changed. I think originally these were just like one or two posters. And now we have a whole very different player races, um, different backgrounds and stuff, which is really We have the Teen Idol poster, which is the same exact different hair colors, but also different backgrounds and different skin colors, which is very, very insane. And all this stuff is just, it's just nice to add diversity to the game. Henry Puffer, which is uh, obviously a big deal. If you were there, you were there. If you weren't there, you weren't there. Now there's many different variations of Henry Puffer as well. I wouldn't mind to see a female version of this. We have just Justin fan poster, which are just more different variants. We have the sports poster, which is Kick It Sally. And once again, this one shows colors going at it, which is I just really, really enjoy. I also love how the last two do have afros, um, which I think is a nice touch. I really, really like that. And we move it down to the mystery port, um, poser and t portrait. All these do have different frames. Um, they have a black frame. They have like a more white frame. This is like a tan beigey frame. And we, this is the original one that we used to have. And now we have one for everybody. The next one is the art in a box, which this is the original one, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is the new one. And I'm obsessed. I love it. Can't wait to use it everywhere. And then we have one portrait of marriage. So this is the original one. Now we have a gay couple. I really, really hope that we get more and more like this because I want a lot of these different textures and colors and stuff to be more variant into the game. Um, just to have a more, like, I wouldn't mind a wedding pack dedicated to this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I, would, I wouldn't want more of this. All right, so that's all the posters. For gameplay size, um, they have improved traits such as bookworm, cheerful, clumsy, genius, gooey, Glutton, good, goofball, hates children, hot-headed, jealous, mean, neat, non-committal, imperfectionist. We've also made some reactionary traits, changes to slob and vicious. We think this section captures a proportional set to positive and negative traits, but wait, there's more. We also made some changes to daily activities, such as taking a shower or eating a meal, that would allow them to be completed in less time. We hope that you enjoy playing with these changes as we look forward to hearing from about them. So, let's go into bunk beds. I do wonder if it's a full-on category or not. I've obviously, I wanted to see it with you guys for the first time. So we're going to get to see them. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay, so we have four different bunk beds. We have this one without the bottom. We have that one without the bottom. And then we have the bottom bed. And then we also have a different variant. This one, this one without, one with the bottom, one without the bottom. All right, so we're going to go over them. So basically what they said, um... You can include a basic style bunk bed that matches the existing mod pod bed from the base game as well as the metal frame bunk beds to carry out the twisted or the industrial bunk bed storytelling needs. What's more, we add new relax poster to the beds and essence can relax and watch TV in their bed, which is amazing. That's something I've been wanting in the game since like day one. So it's a little thing, but I like it. Everyone will see it. Um, you also may see on the first glance category has two ladders. Do we have a UI? It says we have a UI. It, it doesn't look like so. Ah! Oh, okay. Well, I answered that question. <laughs> I didn't see that before. Oh, I'm wondering if it's based on that. Okay, but then I can... Oh my god, I love that. Okay, that I like. That I enjoy. This is this is nice. This I like. This I, I respect. But essentially, that's all the updates. We are going to do a little bit of interacting inside the house. And first things first, I want to just see the interaction of how they get upstairs. I mean, how they get up there. But also, then we're gonna come through and we're gonna put like a chair we're gonna, or that like our desk right there. So for first things first, we have I want to see what relax looks like. I also want to see what read on their covers looks like. And I want to see what sleep looks like. I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna get a book. And my curiosity, obviously, is I know I can watch TV now, which is amazing. There's been no reason to put a TV in the parents' bedroom before or a kids' bedroom because they can't watch it. So now they can. So that means there's a reason to put them there. But for this purpose, we're gonna look at him first. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna go sleep. I'm also once again super duper curious to see if it all changes. Okay, so he does climb up there, which is really really nice. It's very high up, kind of scary to be honest with you, but. It's nice. I like it. Okay. Okay. So that worked just fine. Let me see what read under the covers looks like. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. I like that interaction as well. And I want to see what relax look like. Now, can I do homework up here? Dang it. 
And uh, come back up here into relax. I was really kind of hoping that this would be much more, like, is, is just for TV? Relaxing just works for television? Is that what you're trying to tell me? And then, once again, I am very curious. Now, I do have BB.MoonDogs on. I'm assuming that the coding and stuff doesn't work. But I am curious to see if someone's already up inside that bed. Now, for this one particularly, I want you to relax. I obviously don't have a TV up here. Okay, now I'm curious if she can, if I'm relaxing in bed, I should be able to read. Really? Come on, Sims. Come on. Come. Ah. Ah. The aggravation. <laughs> I want a simple interaction. Ah. They're already in the position. Right. Now I'm curious, can you come up here to sleep or is it a routing issue? No. Hmm. Very interesting. Because on Twitter, I'm only trying this out, by the way. One, because they said it's not, but for those who went to experiment, we're excited. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's not what that means, but people were putting it down here and it wasn't working. My version works fine. Let me know in the comments if you are having any issues with bunk beds, but guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, and I'll see you all next time for another video. Let me know what you guys think of the update as well. All right.